What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. For those of you guys that are new, thanks for watching and please feel free to hit that subscribe, subscribe button as it helps grow the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be taking you guys through a three hole vlog. We are here at uh, Vesper Hills, my home golf course, and we're gonna be taking you guys through the last three holes of the, uh, of the Valley Nine. We have a par four, a gettable par four, a par, short par three, and then also a gettable par five. So this should be fun. Let's take a look. So this short par four, um, it's over here. The green is actually tucked near closer to the trees. So uh, it's about 3.30 to the back woods. I've been getting pretty short here with five wood. In the summertime, I can get there with five wood, but we're gonna hit driver here today and uh, we're gonna go for it because uh, who has time to lay up? <laughs> So hit that pretty good. Uh, I hit it on a very aggressive line because I tried to fade it and it just didn't fade. So uh, it looks like it might miss the green just left and long, which is not a bad which is not a bad play. But uh, we're gonna go take a peek, see where it ends up, and uh, let's get up and down for a birdie. Okay, so good news, we found it. It's in play. Um, we're just green side here, so ball is, oops, right there. Pin is right there. Um, we have, it's sitting in a little bit of a bowl. It, not, the pin's not in a depression, but the ball looks like it's actually not sitting too bad. Um, but essentially what we're gonna try and do here is we're gonna try and hit a little bit of a flop shot, okay? The green actually runs away, and then finally to my right, your left. So the goal here is essentially just to get it, just start on the green because the greens are gonna be fast enough to take it all the way to the hole. And uh, let's try to keep it close. So essentially, like I had said, I'm just gonna just try to get this started on the green let it use the slope and uh, hopefully we can get this close. Sit, 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 sit. Ooh, sit, sit. Okay, so pretty much to be expected, we got about eight feet up the hill. Oh, hit an aeration hole and stopped it. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, easy part. So obviously greens are aerated, um, so the ball's not rolling the best, but we're gonna make do with what we have. So left that one a little bit short, should have probably hit that a little bit harder, but uh, just got caught in a depression or an aeration hole there. And you know, that's, that's golf sometimes. Okay, so number eight is a par three. It's fairly short. We got 145 yards. Green's right there. Um, so 145 yard stock shot for me is about a 48 degree wedge. So we have a little bit of wind into off the left. It is fairly cold. So I'm gonna be taking a little bit extra club, trying to knock it down below the wind and uh, we're gonna try to hit it close. So I actually misspoke. It's 136 yards. I'm gonna play at 140 because it plays a little bit downhill and the wind should kill it, and I'm just gonna hit a really hard 48. Because past the pin is safe. All right, a little bit. Okay, not bad. About 15, 20 feet left of the hole, I'll take it. So as you can see, there's a lot of factors when it comes into hitting a good golf shot. So as I said, it's 136 yards, little into, little wind off the left. So I decided to play at 140, maybe just under 140 because it was playing a little bit downhill. And uh, playing for percentages past the hole is good because short is dead and then you're in the bunker deep and you're fighting for three. But if I can hit it 15 feet past the hole, I got a clear 20 footer. And you know what? I'll take a 20 foot putt over a, 50, over a five foot bunker shot any day. So as you guys can see, pitched about, well, it looks a little bit closer, maybe like 15 feet left of the hole. Uh, I'm just gonna fix that pitch mark and let's see if we can make a putt. So for those of you guys that aren't familiar with, uh, with aim point, apologize for the train. I'm essentially feeling the putt with my feet, okay? 
So rather than reading it with my eyes, because my eyes can sometimes be deceiving, I'm gonna be feeling the putt with my feet to make sure that it's breaking the way that I want it to break. So right now I feel that it's about a cup outside left. Like I said, there is some aeration on this green, so I'm hoping it takes a good bounce, but I'm gonna play the cup left, hit it firm because it's a flat putt. And we'll see if I guessed right. Oh, it hit the dead cup left of the hole. My goodness, man, these aerations really suck sometimes. Well, another easy par. Giving myself good chances to make birdie. It's just sometimes they don't go in. Okay, last hole, par five. So uh, we're gonna be ripping big dog. It's pretty tight, but we're gonna try to hit a little fade over this bunker and uh, see if we can get the fairway. Okay, so hit that very well. This hole plays 520 up the hill, uh, and then it plays even further up the hill of the green. So I got about 205 yards here. It plays 20 yards uphill, so 225. Short is better than long. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, we have a little bit of help here, so I'm probably just gonna hit seven as hard as I can, and uh, hope it gets up on the green. So hit that pretty good. So we're gonna go take a peek. It looks like it's on the green. So we're on in two. Hopefully we'll have a chance at Eagle. So hit an absolute stellar shot in there. Wow, 230 yards, just absolutely roasted seven iron. As you can see here, we got about four feet up the hill. Let's see if we can end on a good note. Nice, good way to finish. A couple missed opportunities, but salvaged it with a three. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. Sun's going down here at Vesper Hills. Um, for those of you guys that have tuned in so far, please, again, hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. And if you guys want to see more golf vlogs like this, feel free to drop me a comment below. And as always, keep hitting bumps.